I've got with me Slovakia's Libor Čafrajtag, the defending European hammer champion. Well, Libor, obviously the European Athletics Championships mean a great deal to you. What are your thoughts ahead of Helsinki? I'm looking forward to the meet. Uh, this time, first time ever, it will be two years later since the last championships. And <clears throat> since I won the last one, I would like to defend it, but I didn't really see it possible at this time since I'm having really bad preparation for this season. I wasn't healthy at all. I was on antibiotics for at least six months. But uh, I hope it will improve and maybe I will be able to make the finals and I'll fight for the best place. Well, I do remember talking to you back in Barcelona just after you'd actually won the last European title. And you'd bounced back then. You got great powers of recovery and you'd had illness earlier that season. So. Uh, one would think that you've probably got a little bit more chances of doing well and maybe even getting amongst the medals than just making the final? Or are you not so optimistic? It's hard to tell because I don't really know what their main reason is and it's really frustrating at this time. Coach and I worked on it a great deal and we still can't figure out what is wrong with me. I basically don't feel well. I feel less energy than I'm used to and hopefully we'll be able to find out what causes these feelings. And if we are, if we will figure it out, then medal would be possible. Nevertheless, it's going to be a fantastic competition, especially in the hammer. It's going to be probably one of the great competitions of the event. Nearly all the world's top throwers are from Europe. I mean, just run the rule over who are going to be the real candidates for medals there. True, it will be one of the best events, basically, because like you said, hammer throw is all European, plus you add one or two guys from the rest of the world. I believe guys who could reach medals are Hungarian Christian Pars. Definitely, he's already in good shape this year, early in the season. And others will also step up, uh, like the Olympic champion Primoz Kozmos from Slovenia. Even though he hasn't started yet this season, he's opening up this Saturday. But I believe he will be in great shape. And there will be a bunch of others who will be capable of throwing 80 meters at the meet. Now, you're a great professor of your discipline. What about the new Polish find, the European under-23 champion, Pavel Fajek? Yeah, Pavel has stepped up really up there last year. Basically, he improved to over 78 meters. And this year he improved to 79.82 already. He'll be here competing today. And I believe he will be definitely a finalist in Helsinki. And if he has a great day in the final, he could even reach for the medal. It's also possible. And just finally, turning the clock back seven years, you were in the World Championship final in 2005 when they were staged in Helsinki. What are your memories of that event on the track? And also, what's your memories of the city? Basically, I remember bad weather during the whole championships. It was, we only had one or two sunny days and the rest of it was raining and cold, windy. Didn't like that as much. But stadium and everything, including the city, was really nice. What I liked about the stadium is it wasn't as big as usual, and which was basically you felt closer to the crowd, which is nicer, and you compete better that way. And I love the city, absolutely. It's one of the nicest cities in Europe, architecturally as well. And I'm looking forward to go up there again. I have a lot of friends in Finland, including the Finnish hammer thrower, Oli Pekka, and um, I'd like to see them all again. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you in Helsinki. I hope you get over your minor health problems. And thanks very much for joining us, Levi. I appreciate it. Thank you.